So when we set out to make uh, Flag Hill Spice Drum, uh, there's a lot of different concepts in mind. Uh, and one of the, uh, the biggest thing that we knew we wanted to do uh, was not use any artificial flavorings uh, and not use any uh, uh, caramel colors made from corn syrup. We decided that everything post-production of the distillate was something that a reasonable person would consider uh, food. That was what we wanted to do. So uh, after we've uh, made the wash from fancy grade molasses, uh, we ferment it, uh, we distill it, uh, we age it in a barrel for about a year. It comes out of the once used bourbon barrel. It doesn't have a lot of color at that point. Uh, we give it a splash of grade B New Hampshire maple syrup. Um, and we give it uh, about a 36 hour direct maceration with uh, real hand cut Madagascar vanilla beans, uh, cinnamon, and uh, uh, grains of paradise. And it, uh, it really shines through in the, in the rum. On the nose, uh, it's very, very obvious that we use a ridiculous amount of uh, vanilla beans. It's, it's intensely vanilla. Uh, and there's a little bit of, of cinnamon there. And then at, um, at the first taste, uh, there's uh, kind of a weightiness to it uh, that's very similar to traditional uh, spice rum. Um, something that's a little bit different is you can definitely taste uh, the rum, uh, the, the base rum. Uh, we really worked hard to make sure that that kind of shined through uh, through the product. Uh, it wasn't just washed out by uh, spices that we were adding uh, post-production of the distillate. 